Welcome to the Monday, April 15th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Martha Smirsky, member. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Eric Gilbertson. Benjamin Cheney. For anybody who has not been here before, we are an advisory committee to the Development Review Board. We will listen to the applications from each of the applicants and move those forward to the Development Review Board. And do I hear a motion to approve our agenda tonight? So moved. And I'll second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. The agenda is approved. Unless there are any other comments beforehand, we'll move to the, and I guess we'll pass the first application since nobody is here for 58 State Street, and we'll move to 158 Main Street. And if that you, come forward and introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Laz Skangas. I'm with Arno and Skangas Architects. Okay. And I'm the architect. Spell your name, first and last. L A Z mm -hmm. S C A N G A S. Okay. And you're representing Franklin Square. Yes. Um, I have boards, but if we want to just talk about the drawings and what the scope of work is, however you would like me to do it. You brought the boards. Want to use them? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, I think they took my stands away. You got to kidding me. Who can use the chair? I can yeah, use the chair. Yeah, I can use the chair. I can use the chair. First, first question, are the exterior renovations, windows, stormboards, porches, railings, and mailboxes similar for all three buildings? Yes. They're basically exactly the same? We're, we're matching what is there. Okay. So where we're replacing like asphalt roof shingles, we're putting yes. architectural shingles back. Okay. We're replacing wood windows, we're replacing them with wood windows, where we're replacing clapboards and trim, we're replacing with matching what's there. But similar to on all three buildings. Sim it's the same scope, it's really maintenance is okay. really what it is. You know, we're replacing a basement access hatch, we're matching what's there. We're okay. repointing some brick, the we're matching the joints. The reason the that I was asking that is rather than go through, because we have to go through either yep. each building separately, yep. or if they're all similar, mm -hmm. we can do all three buildings as one lump go through. That would be great. Okay. Okay. So go so, ahead. Um, this is 158 Main Street. Um, mm -hmm. And again, there's an existing architectural shingle roof that we're going to replace. We're doing some repointing to the brick. We're going to mm -hmm. match the joints and the texture and the color. There's a couple of windows that we're going to replace. We're going to match. They're going to be wood windows. We're going to match the, the, the four over ones and all that. Um, there's clapboards that were replaced. We're going to match the clapboards. There's trim we have to replace. You know, the, the, the railing here is rotted, no longer support. We're going to detail it the same way and it's going to match what's there. Um, currently, the porch is support, supported by iron pipes. Mm -hmm. We're going to put precast piers underneath to support it properly. The only thing that I can say that we're not going to match is we're going to put a pipe railing for a handrail on the building as you go down the stairs. There's a set of stairs that you see here, mm -hmm. and we're going to put an inch and a half pipe rail, we're going to paint it. Um, what was there before? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. In violation of code. <laughs> uh, and then we're also going to add a screen door, mm -hmm. and there's a cut sheet in your packet of the screen door, and it's the same screen door we're going to use at all three buildings. Okay. Um, hmm. Print it out oddly. Yeah. I think all you can see is, is a. Oh, that's that is all a you can plate. see for some Sorry, reason. Sorry, no, square. that's the original we got. Showed, but for some reason when we when it got photocopied. Yeah, you can just see. Oh, same thing. It's going to be yeah. white. <laughs> yeah. uh, We're not so. changing the color or anything. They're going to stay the same. Um, some buildings are going to be completely painted. Some buildings we're just going to paint what we're replacing because they've been recently painted. So that in a nutshell is 158. Real quick, what are you? What are these shaded areas showing us? The work, where it's white, we're not touching it. So the shaded areas. So we're replacing that clapboard, 
We're replacing that trim. Oh, I see, We're replacing I see. a window. We're infilling an opening with brick. That's siding. We're replacing the bottom part of these window trims are uh, rotted, so we're replacing those sections. So anywhere you see gray is work we're doing. And around so this, this window is just, here. This, yep. Yeah, and this is a corner board we're replacing. This is siding we're replacing. And this just happens to be, for whatever reason, damaged siding? And yes. Yeah. And the same around the window? Are you enlarging yep. the window at nope. all? No, nope. we're just uh, here. It's... But this is the one I'm looking at. Right? Oh, here? Yeah. yeah. No, we're just replacing clapboards in that area. And this is a generalization. I mean, it sure, may be. Sure, sure. But we're just showing the areas where we're replacing clapboards. And you're going to sort of not not line all your joints. No, 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 you're no, gonna no. Stack. They're going to be too thin and all yeah. that stuff. No, yeah. no. What do you use for paint when you get the repairs done? Sorry? What do you use for paint when you have the repairs done? Uh, we will use, uh, I like to spec Benjamin Moore, so we'll use a Benjamin Moore primer and two finished coats of... Um, I'm not sure if Benjamin Moore makes an equivalent. Sure, and Williams does. Not that I'm selling any yep. brand, but they're in, I know that Aubuchon's carries uh, Benny Moore, and they yep. also have in the past, and they have a different one now, but they've had a primer called Mad Dog. Yes, we've used that, but it isn't too bad. It isn't really yeah. that sort of, um, that it's been scraped 10,000 times and it has 4,000 layers on it, and you see all the alligator in it. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad here. What color are the buildings now? White. All, th all three of them? All three of them. And that was what you intended to do? Yeah, yeah, we're not. As far as I know, we're not changing color. I've been told we're keeping them all the same. Okay. The only reason I mentioned that was we had problems with moisture areas that didn't mm -hmm. seem to want to hold paint. And after a coat of Mad Dog, we don't have one flake on after eight years. I've used it on other projects. It's nice stuff. It's nice stuff. Any other questions before we go to 160? No, go right ahead. Okay. So this is 160 Main Street. It sits in f um, between the street and 158. Um, the same thing, we're doing some selective clapboard replacement, some trim replacement. Um, we're replacing the stairs. They're really rotted and uh, just soft and they need to be replaced. We're also doing some frame and displacement, which is going to be underneath, you won't even see it, but we're sistering some 2 by 6s uh, Here we're replacing the basement access hatch. Again, selective trim replacement, selective railing replacement, and we're replacing selective windows. And then we're also adding, again, uh, metal pipe rail, which you can see here, and you can see... Top right, your left. Yeah, right here. And we're also replacing this new post and the cap railing on the original porch framing. The railing's all rotted out, and the bottom of the post is rotted out. And we'll match what's there. What brand of windows do you use? I think we're gonna we're gonna look at Marvin. That's what I normally use for windows. But there's a mix. Like at one, we're gonna go with wood because that's what we're taking out. But all the second floor are vinyl because they've already been replaced. So we're gonna keep. Well, was there, so we we're replacing. It's out of the purview of our group, but are you doing any internal changes, or is it just? No. Nope. Uh, the only thing there's some buildings we're replacing boilers. Yeah. But no, it's it. This is all external stuff. Um, there's some interior work that needs to be done, but they just don't have the money. It's. Uh, yeah. Each person owns a unit, and it's a condo association, and I see. it's low income, and they just, yeah. so they've gotten some funding to do some outside work, so that's right. what we're just trying. Like. Has the building been exterior walls rewired and insulated? I have no idea. No idea? No. All my stuff's been geared to the outside, so. Well, no, the reason I ask that is yeah. that if the wiring's been replaced, and it's a great opportunity since it's going to be painted to do some insulating through. We have we have money set aside to insulate the basement and insulate the attics. So we have some of that. Um, but that's about it. It just 
efficiency you know, Vermont won't like subsidize some insulation. We're trying to get them to give us money to do the basement and the attics. They've been there, they've done a blower door test, so they're going to tell us where the leakage is, so we may do some air sealing. Mm -hmm. but just you know what's in the outside walls? I have no idea. No one seems to know. Did they, they ever done a thermal test to see? That's why Efficiency Vermont was there doing the blower door test because they had their infrared camera and all that, so they were going to see. But we just we just don't have the funds, unfortunately. It would be interesting if you're replacing those clapboards to cut back the sheathing just to be able to kind of like look in those yep. cavities yep. just as yep. a record for the owners yep. to be able to say. Yeah, that's a good idea, and I think we will do that. I mean, where you need to replace stuff, it'd be worthwhile just to take a peek and see what's in there. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's a great opportunity to get some work done where you know where you can. Totally agree. And you know, if if numbers come in good, maybe one building we could attack and do the exterior walls again. There may be dense packing. I don't know. They may have blown it in at some point. Sure. I know weatherization has been there, but they don't seem to have a record of what they've done. We know there's cellulose in some of the attics, so it could be just that work that's limited. Can Who knows? Capstone take a look while this is being done? Because they have funds to do a lot of that. Right, but my understanding is since they've already been there once, they can't go back but, and put more money into it. But they it. don't know what they've done so far? That's what I've been told, because we <laughs> asked and said, okay. what did you do? And they said, well, we've been there, we're not sure what we did. So. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Uncle George owned the house for a while. He gets some stuff on it, but I don't know what it's it is. Shame the association didn't, you know, ask for records so they could, you know, keep track of all that stuff. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Just thought I would ask. Yep. No. We asked the same Opportun question. Opportunities don't come along that often. No. Make a we asked the same question. Um, and then this is this is 162, and it's right next door to 160. It's a long, narrow building, um, and basically the same work as the other two buildings. Um, this is a full roof replacement. Yep, yep. And I think the only thing that's different from here than the other buildings is there's two chimneys in the middle section that we're going to rebuild. They're currently leaning and one is almost ready to... So we're going to rebuild those. Um, but similar scope of work. And then in this one, I remember looking in the file, there's some metal roofing that you're going to replace with shingles, yep. right? Yep, yep. And then we're also going to do um, handrails here where there's an asphalt... I'm oh, sorry. There's a Remember. It's either an asphalt or a concrete sidewalk from the steps to the street sidewalk, and we're going to replace it with concrete. And there is a gang mailbox in front of this building, and we're replacing that, but we're replacing it the same size, same shape, and all that stuff. It's just rusted away and everything. Okay. And between this building and 160, there's some vegetation. There's a couple of trees that have really overgrown and are leaning on the building, so we're not pulling anything, but we're going to cut it back, trim it, and try to get it off the buildings as much as possible. Um, I think that's about it for all three. It's sort of the same scope of work. Mm -hmm. Going back to the storm doors that you showed us before, yep. are those aluminum doors or wood doors? They're aluminum doors, and they have an offerable screen, so they can be vented and all that stuff. Okay. What color is the entrance door on where you're putting the screen door? Do you have a picture? I don't um, this know. One's I think it's white, white isn't it? The 162 is white. I think they're all how many white. how many screen doors are you putting in? We're putting one in at 158. We're putting one in at 260, and we're putting I believe two in at 262. Can I see that? Uh, one second, I'm sorry. Yeah, they look white to me. 
160 yeah. might have a dark door, but I don't know if that's actually the one where you're putting the screen in or not. Yeah, 160 looks like it's a black door. Yep, and that's one we're doing. This one already has one, so we're not touching that one, but we are adding one to that. This is the front? Uh, well, it's facing the driveway. The front is really this side, the, mm -hmm. and this, this is the front. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And we're not putting a screen door on the front of 162 because it's a common door entry to a common hall, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be benefit anybody. Okay. So, so these are only placed where there's an entrance to an individual. To an individual. Unit. Mm -hmm. 158 looks like it has a blue door. Sorry? 158 looks like it has a blue door. Yeah. It looks like there's an existing oh. storm. Yeah, it is, but it's banged up and oh. it's rusted. Okay. That's so you're, but you're replacing it. You're replacing that door with a new one that's yes. basically going to look exactly like. There's yep. already a white screen door over that. Yep. Okay. Which one? So is this that? is 158. That's 158. white frame of the first screen door over the bright blue. Mm -hmm. So all the doors that the screen door is going to be on are different colors. This one you said looks like the blue one. Yep. Yeah, but the screen door on there already looks like the white one. The screen door already white. It's already white. Yeah. Okay. And 160 is white, Steve, and 162, oh, excuse me, 160 is black, and 162 is white. Mm -hmm. And this is the one where you're going to yep. replace, or yep. put one on, it doesn't look like there is it, one at all. There is a one, so we're yeah. going to add one there. Yeah, that so that'll then one, match. So this is 160. Uh, 160 this is 160. So there's no screen door no there. Screen so door they're there. adding yeah. one that matches what's on the other buildings. Mm -hmm. They're adding a white one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where mm -hmm. there's a black door, would you put a black screen door on it to sort of? If you want me to, and I can find one. Black is it's usually white and brown, or if I can find a black door, I'd be willing to do it, but. We could just save that where the screen doors are going to be added. That we could, you could either give them the option of using white or matching as close as possible the color of the door behind it, so that it. I would be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Unless does anybody have a better idea? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So that gives you an option. I mean, if there's a, not much cost difference, if there's somebody has a door they like the color of. Uh, and that's fine. You could match it with a, a similar color, mm -hmm. either dark brown or black or white or whatever, depending on your financial constraints. Do you have the sheets for those? Uh, yep, I gave you the one for 158, I think. And then we have a lot of shuffling the papers. So here's 160. Oh, I didn't. There's 158. And there's 162. Uh, thanks for a really clear presentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're all easy to understand what you're doing. Sit, I, used to sit, yeah. <laughs> I used to sit in the one in St. Albans, so I know what I'd like to see. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
So all we did was say to all of them, and again, that's at your option, your association mm -hmm. or owner's option, that the screen door is to be added may be a, either a white color or a color closest to the main door behind the screen door. Yeah, that's fine. I'm on. That's not it. And there's a criteria, evaluation criteria that we go through for each of the applications. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'll go through one, but we'll check them off since they're all similar for all three buildings at the same time rather than going through it three times. Okay. Number one, preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure. Acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping. There's no new landscaping proposed. It's nope. just maintenance of it, what's already there. It's really just trimming <coughs> and like... Pruning um, and trimming, which is yeah, a normal... If you look at the picture for like, for instance, 162 on the... Uh, let me get you there. Uh, the one that says West Elevation, I mean, you can see it's just crawling all over the place. It's yes. uncontrolled. And then the one up top gives you an idea that trees right against the windows and all that. So it's mm -hmm. really maintenance and pruning and... Yeah, that's just a routine maintenance. Yes. So there's no new no. proposed landscaping. So I'll just, that'll be an NA. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities. No change in utilities, lighting, or any other. No. Okay. Recognition of and respect for view corridors and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor, unless anybody has any other comments, all in favor, raise your hand. at one at a time and the lower left above my name would be your signature here. Do you want me dated also? Sure. Does Thank you. Audra's been talking to you about the boilers, right? She has. Okay. We're, uh, we're out surveying last week, so our hope is we'll have some answers at cool. what that level is. Let me have the last one get you back, and then I'll write that same yep. bump over in just a moment. Perfect. I'm all set. Thank you, very much. Thank, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming and for your nice presentation. Thank you. And, nice to and meet good you. luck with your project. Thanks. Well, projects. <laughs> projects. Well, you're filling those out. I'm mm -hmm. going to go down and see if I can find out what's up with Jody Kelly about the sign for the garage building. Okay. Ben, you didn't talk to her at all, did you? No. I was thinking of texting her while I was here. but Go for it. I am. Yeah. Yeah. And you? Too busy. Too busy? Oh, I'm retired. I'm trying to retire for 10 years. That's you be bored. Yes. I have enough to do. One of the things that my wife and I are thinking about putting an addition to our house. Yeah. It's a 194, two stories, with a standard house and uh, garage. 
garage. It's not really a garage, it's a shed. interesting when somebody does a renovation like that to see how they approach it when the uh, the weight of the unsupported brick starts pressing down on the window they either break the windows or, or, the window or jam them down. shut so you can't operate them anymore. Since you're representing the railing, can't you represent the sign? I was considering it, but I actually don't have a clue like what her, I don't know anything about it, so I feel like I'd be. I was thinking about saying. I mean, I, I, I can tell you what I know, if you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you've got your image of what's there currently. Yes. Um, is, there and a, the, is there a frame band on so, it now? Well, this is a wooden frame mm -hmm. here from the old sign that they used for like the Nature Conservancy and everything, right. and it's all rotted out. I think there's, there were some up close, uh, yeah, at the very yes. end there's an up close mm -hmm. picture that shows. Yeah. Um, and so the plan is to replace that out with basically this. Um, sign phone. Um, I think, or really, maybe that's just the color, but they've they've that can't remain. Yeah, the no, they'll have there. to replace it. They'll have to replace it, and they're going to go with black for mm -hmm. that. Yes, that's no, um, very classy. And then this was going to be the window trim, <coughs> window trim. Uh, your cheating heart, I think. That's what it's called? <laughs> what you put on there is what it's called for the window trim color. I like the um, color. It's a charcoal color. Yeah. Um, for the trim around the doors and the windows down below, um, they're just going to paint that. Um, and it's, yep, and they're going to do a directory sign there um, because the main entrance for the cultural center is the back entrance. Um, and so now, they, where's the elevator entrance? Think, do you know that, what the elevator is? Elevator's inside. I don't. You don't see it from the outside. It's not. You don't access it from the outside. No, no. You access like you, if you came in this door, mm -hmm. it would be. It's like back in the building. It's halfway through. So you have to go up this ramp, or you go up the ramp around back. There's that <coughs> wooden ramp around back. Is there an ADA ramp out back that yeah. Yeah. gets you to an elevator? Yeah, there is. Um, and she, they, they'll probably be back for some signage to the rear mm -hmm. later, um, but they wanted to get these approved now and then maybe and think some more about how to do the back. Okay. Um, now is the, is the background for the front sign going to be glossy or is that a satin color? 
Yeah, because it looks really. It's yeah, it looks shiny. really shiny. I yeah, like so much too much. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that. I think that that's something we could. We could give direction on. It doesn't. They, she brought these in while I was out. Mm -hmm. I'd rather wait until she can be here yep. and answer our questions. Okay. I'm surprised I don't have her phone number in here. Uh, well, her phone number's on. At least one phone number is on the application, but I didn't get anything. All I got was voicemail. Do you need to get started on the railings soon? Uh, the railings got approved. That's yes. already approved. Okay. That's, a, that's approved, they yeah. They just showed it in they here, were, so... Yeah. yeah. I'm working on the interior stuff at the moment. Okay. No, I didn't know if there was any additional. It, 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 this is showing the railings, but it... It's also showing the sign. So this is just the sign. This is just for the sign application. Okay. That's all this is. We can table it until they come. Okay. And, and if she wants to squeeze in the other signs from the rear. Yep. Then we can do them all at the same time. Yeah, I think the thing is that they just weren't sure what to do back there yet. I had talked to her about that. Um, okay. Yeah, we would like we'll to have, to have a couple of options. She could bring them in and we could. Yeah. Take a look and approve. You know, if there are two options and both look good, we could approve it and say, you know, whatever. Yeah, I, I told her that it, the permit would be good for a couple of years. I would so suggest it that be a satin or a flat color, so yeah. it's not because mm -hmm. in the summertime you get enough light in the afternoon that's going to shine at an angle off of that, and the it, the glare is going to take away from mm. the. The glare is going to take away from the readability of the sign. I just sent her a text to see if anything happens. And otherwise, it looks fine. Do you think that's readable from a distance, the size of the lettering there? Of course, it's centered over the window, which, if you make it larger, it's no longer going to be centered. I would be perfectly happy if it was larger. We can make always it. make the stone cliff maybe bigger. I don't know. It would be hard to make it bigger and still have it all fit. You, you want to be able to see that sign from the street and read it. Yeah. I know it's hard to fit it all in. And I do like, I personally, I know, it's, I, I know my opinion doesn't count for a whole lot, but I, I like the circles with the colors. That's nice. I, I think taking that out would be detrimental. Well, the, to the only sign. other thing you could do would be to take Stone Cliff and raise it up, raise it up, mm -hmm. make it larger, a little larger reading, and then put uh, two colors and uh, and your cross. Do one on each side. In other words, do two yellows and a stone cross, two yellow or a stone cross and two two whatever colors that is. I wouldn't worry too much about that being exactly centered. Nice to have it yeah. that way, but it's, it's all one entry. Anyway. Yes, and then this one, the Garage Cultural Center, you could make it a little larger so the Garage Cultural might be over the window and center could be even over mm -hmm. into here. Again, so it's more readable. Yep. And then the informational sign, obviously if somebody's attracted by those other two signs, they once they get up closer to the building, that would be readable. Yep. They just want they want that to be readable from the bottom of the ramp. So yes. They walk up. So that's but this. Yeah. That. I would almost take Stone Cliff, raise it up, and then take this, which is nice. I would put this on either side of Stone Cliff. Again, mm -hmm. just trying to make it larger so it's readable from the street. Mm -hmm. You could always put. But they could. You could put, always put the cross sign as the O. They were probably trying to match the yeah, sign I mean, was there. Uh, yeah, I think they were also are, trying to match are, some of yeah. their logos from uh, down in New Hampshire, too. I think it actually would look better with bigger lettering. Mm hmm. That lettering looks kind of. I feel like I want. Diminished in all that empty space. kind of want, like, the Garage Cultural Center and Stone Cliff to be on the same datum. It feels like they're. Um, just off from each other. Oh, on line wise. Yeah, if you were to yeah. underscore mm -hmm. the garage cultural center, it's like running partially through Stonecliff. Maybe that's not important, but I 
guess, I, or I'd want to move the Garage Cultural Center down so it's on the same line as veterinary and clinic and they make can, the letters bigger. They can get with whoever's doing their designs to play with it and you know come up with a couple of options. Yeah, it just feels a little to balance it better and make it more readable. The up and down arrows are a little obscure. I like them, but I, I like think them. It's because well, the up arrows because you're going around the back of the building mm -hmm. versus right here for yeah, the veterinary right. clinic. It's, it, I, it, it's on this side of the building. You don't go that way. I would think that leaving them out would be. Uh, makes you feel I smart guess. if you get them, though. <laughs> if you see it and you understand it, like, I, ah, I, I, I'm a smart guy. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the book, if, as you get up to the ramp, you can see the rear entrance to the right, yeah. you know, cultural center to the right. Or if you're looking, there's an arrow to the left. I mean, if you walk up the stairs on the left, I would be perfectly happy with a sign, with that sign on a post or something down at the end of the railing. Oh, the, the directional sign? Yeah, the, uh, the Directory cultural sign? center sign and rear entrance. Huh. Having it, bringing it down. Well, I think we'll have to wait. I think that would make it. Well, I can, I can well, bring the options in the discussion. Once, once you, you get to the bottom of the ramp, that one. one's pretty readable. It's really important that you come. Yeah, oh, I so. do. Lead you up to the ramp anyway. See close to the sign, but and anybody would be able to find a way around. Steve, the have you paid enough attention to the building as to whether, like, why all this ghosting is happening on the on the exterior of the brick? Well, I, it's because uh, they've it's heated it. Because of roof leak. At some point in the effervescence, water gets down and. And now, because they're heating it, because it hasn't been heated for a few years? Yeah, I, I don't know whether that's new or it not. Comes, it keeps coming back when you heat it because there's no insulation. I mean, the heat goes right through the brake and it you know, condenses on the outside. Yeah. It's going to just do that. And it's the old uh, it's just the way it is. reverse of the uh, glass of ice water on a, your deck in the right. summer where right. it starts sweating and the, you get. My guess is that, like you said, it's the effervescence. There's also, if you look at the building, there is a... Some of the pictures showed, it doesn't show so much on this one. It looked like there was some kind of a... If you look at the building itself, it looked like there's some kind of either effervescence or at some point there may be some kind of a, like an overhang or something for all this up top. I think it's more words that were up there. Might have been more signs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this was the Ford garage. Yes. Uh, Wasn't Senator Je like Jeffords' office in there at one point? I'm sorry? Wasn't Senator Jeffords' office in there at one point? Was, yeah. yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. That was a while back. Um, yeah. One thing I did want to ask your opinion on is whether the garage there is, your, in your opinion, part of the historic building or a separate sign? My thought was that it's really part of the historic building and not something that should be taken off at any point or considered right. in the sign of the, you know, sign calculations. It's almost mm -hmm. more art or just yes. part of the building. No, you see their square art if you do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, they don't. I but mean, but I, it's, no, it's I, I, would, I, just, I would just leave it there. It's an interesting you know, piece of, yeah, the, of it, the history of the building. Exactly. And it's been there for right. at least probably. I have no years. idea what her current thinking was. At one point, she had suggested they were going to repaint that. Well, at, at one point, they were suggesting actually painting veterinary all up along the top. And I said they can't do that. Um, but my also thought was that I don't even know if repainting that is something that somebody should do. Because then it makes it look like it's new. Sort of like a capital station. Makes it look like an old sign. Painted brick. Yeah, I just I don't. Yeah. I don't know. It's nice that the capital stationers repainted the sign on their side of the building. So would it be something that? Really looks nice. You would like to have them do in this Yeah. Yes. And this has nothing. This. Well, it sort of does in that it's the cultural, the garage cultural center. Yeah. 
Yeah, but somebody else might move into the building some other time. You know, rather than re- that, rather so than I repaint, just don't know. rather than repaint that, I think if you repainted that, it might take away from the, mm-hmm. the sign below it. If to sort of partially restore it, you might take some similar colored paint and maybe rag it around the lettering yeah. just to sort of bring it back a little mm. bit, but not. I, I mean, I sort I of what's there now. My guess is that that sign was painted. I think the Ford garage moved out of there in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that was probably that painted before that, so it's going to still be readable. Six to 70 it. years old. Yeah, 20, 20 years from now, you're still going to be able to see that coastal in there. I just think if you painted it white, it would take away mm-hmm. from their sign oh, below. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I just, it was one of those questions that had been coming up, and even before they decided what to do with the building, other people were talking about what to do with the building. Questions on that would come up. It's like, and well, you, can, you can still read it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I wasn't quite sure what. Well, it reads differently depending on the season. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this looks but like no. on the top here, that looks like it was a sign. You know, painted the same mm-hmm. time. It's got it's the same length where the white is up. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. that looks like it's weathered. That would be off. interesting if you had a photo from way back so you could see. Oh, there must be some, somewhere. I bet that you can find out. One one of the projects I wanted to do, uh, I won't do it, do it anymore. But uh, we should go through the city directories and make a, a list of the occupants of all the buildings downtown. The city directories are really complete uh, up until 38 years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, there might be a picture of that in the city directory. I wonder if she, I just, she, I just got a text back from her. I wonder if she thinks, because this says development, whether she thinks she's going to development in the uh, Oh, because it's development application? Yeah, I know. Mean? Well, you shouldn't. Right. Hope not. Yeah, the, it's everything, all zoning applications get the development application yeah. at the start. Yeah. Well, just make some suggestions to her. Yep. About, again, the size of the lettering. Mm hmm. And if Maybe there are any alternatives changing. to doing their logo. Mm-hmm. to include with that to make the lettering a little larger and more readable. Yep, and make this a little larger and line that up possibly with that more. Mm-hmm. It would just, hard off bal- it would just okay. balance it nicely. Yeah. I'm just going to talk to Jody for just a second. Agreed. I'll wait till he gets done mm-hmm. with his phone call and then we can either address this or go on. Has anybody had a chance to look at the minutes? I did. Them. We have enough people here that we're. With Ben. <laughs> you, me, and Ben. And I'll make sure to note to her also about possibly moving the directory sign down. I'm not sure. Well, I, think, I think it would. I, I, think I, don't, I, think, I think it's fine either way. Yeah. Well, and that's, this is actually the font on there is larger than it was because the sign was actually too big when she first mm-hmm. proposed it. Yes. Um, she had more words in there, so we've actually made it bigger since she originally proposed it. And again, does she want people, to me, this arrow here makes it look like I should go up mm. the stairs and around the so deck. So maybe does get rid of that you, arrow. Does that rid, bring you around back? I can't remember if that goes all the way around to the back or if that's just So anyway, just that's a, a question entrance. as far as the arrow goes. Does okay. that, does those, do those stairs on the side deck bring you around back as well? Or does she intend for everybody to go on this side, in which case you may... I have Jody on speaker. Can you hear us, Jody? I can hear you, yeah. Great. Uh, we have some questions coming your way. Sure, sure. I do apologize. I don't have any update. Sorry about that, Jody. I, unfortunately, I wasn't in the office today, so I didn't give you a call. Uh, no, no problem. I don't know why we thought it was the 20th, but I'm pretty embarrassed about not being there. Oh, that's okay. You know, 
the only questions we had, number one, actually there were options for you. Uh, number one, looking at the proposed sign, on the left-hand side, the Garage Cultural Center, there's a white arrow pointing, make, making it look like it's to the back. It makes it look like you go up the stairs onto this deck on that side, on the river side. Does that deck go all the way to the back as well? On the river side or the church side? River yes. side. Yes, the river side, correct. Oh. Okay, because it, on the as you go up the ramp, there's a sign on the building that shows rear entrance, and it points to the right. Yeah, it's basically um, pointing people towards the back of the building where the handicapped ramp is. Okay. Okay. No, I was just wondering if there was just making sure that you could go to the get to the back from both sides. You can, yes. Okay. The other question it was more of an option for you was to make the lettering more readable. If you would like an option to make the lettering larger and play with spacing and on the site where Stonecliff is, you have it looks like a logo up above that. Would you like to make Stonecliff larger and have the long, maybe the logo spread onto both sides, or do something different with the logo to make Stonecliff larger and your veterinary clinic sign below that larger so it's more readable from the street? It's a, quite a distance for the size of the lettering. If you made stone cliff larger, how would you? Is that part of your logo? The four, the yeah. four circle, the five circles above that. Yes, exactly. So I guess you know. I'm thinking probably we would just leave it the way it is um, and just go from there. The other thing Steve talked about before, uh, this is Eric Gilbertson, is uh, using a, a, a semi-gloss background. The piece that uh, you brought into the office is real glossy, and uh, it would be really reflective if there's any sunlight that hits it. And it will take away from the, the lettering, you think? Well, what it'll do is if any reflection on the black background is going to make the lettering even less readable. If you have a, a if you have a flat background, flat background, then the flat paint won't there won't be any glare that takes away. Again, if there's much glare and the sun in the afternoon uh, comes around the corner, and then in the morning, depending on the uh, season, the sun can hit that sign in the morning and then particularly in the late afternoon and if the sun's at an angle across the facing of that sign the glare will can literally obliterate <laughs> your lettering or the readability right. or the readability And the last thing you'd want to do, I think, would be to have it painted glossy and then not be able to read your lettering. And now you're sort of you're sort of stuck. You're sort of stuck with it at that point, unless you redid the whole thing. Okay. And we can give them the option to using the same layout to make the lettering 
a little larger if they can, you know, if they can fit it within the borders of the sign and still have the have it balanced. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not. And Jody, one other comment I have is, it might be nice if like the bottom line, datum line of the garage Jeez. cultural center was at the same elevation as Stone Cliff. Feels a little like they don't. The balance feels weird to me there. Maybe it's just trying to make the garage. I can see the intent is to make the garage cultural center part of the sign in the center of the sign ban, which once and on the other side, you got more text going on, so the center is in a different place. But somehow, as as they read together, it's a thought. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Have, have you thought about putting a handicapped access sign on the, the directional sign that goes around the back? I don't know what your square uh, footage problem would be. But for yeah, the I, have, I have not thought of that. Jody, this, yep. Jody, this is Meredith. You might be able to even just do a little... Um, round, you know, blue handicap sy symbol after the rear and before on that same line with the rear for the rear entrance, you might be able to fit that right in there. Even just the blue, even if people just see that blue, they'll know what that means. Yeah, I think that would be a nice addition for a lot of reasons just to sort of if make it feel more welcoming like that. If she just puts a standard handicapped access sign up, this is question does that count on the square foot of the signage I don't even think so I I've never even seen that but it also just to keep it from being too busy they could always put that there they could always put the handicapped access square sign another one on the railing and I'm not I don't think that's ADA that's not I think it would be really nice on that yeah on that sign right there and just sort of say hey we're well we're yeah welcoming and trying to encourage everybody yep it doesn't hurt to have multiple. I mean, you did put in an elevator. Might as well make sure everybody knows. Right. We're writing out an application for you with a lot of <laughs> with a lot and of we're options. Giving giving you options. And you can and you can come to the um, just down to our office tomorrow morning and put your signature on the the form. Awesome. There has been some discussion about your arrows. I like the arrows. They make me feel smart once I figured out what they were telling me, that <laughs> the Garage Cultural Center was upstairs and that the, the Stone Cliff Vet was downstairs. So right. they're subtle. We like them. Yeah. Well, that's when Jody and I met in my office. I, I was saying I liked them, too. Yeah. Do you know how the uh, this piece of foam signboard that we have in front of us here do you know how it's finished around the edges? Clearly the foam isn't exposed. Um, I believe there's just there's an end piece that caps it. Yeah. In the same, um, the same color as the, the background. And it's all flat? Is that raised up in any way, or is it all... Uh, Yeah. So like a, a frame around the edges. Do you know anybody who does a metal work who could make a nice seat channel to go around it? <laughs> I recuse myself. <laughs>
since you can't see what's going on, we're still writing out options for you. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll probably read them all to you so that you know what's going on. to just say a, either a wood or a composite band may be placed around this sign background for preservation of the material. Yeah. symbol to the current directory sign or a new handicap accessible sign? Thanks. Still lots of writing. Maybe added or maybe... Maybe added to the directory sign or an if you guys wanted it, or it could be a separate yeah. sign. There's got to be an exception for handicap accessible signs to not be part of the wall sign calculation, I would think. That would make sense. I would hope so. Yeah, if there isn't, there should be. Well, we'll make one. Yeah. It may, it may just be one of the general exceptions at the very beginning of zoning. That anything to do with the ADA accessibility just is exempt. Jody, you're not proposing any lighting with this sign, correct? Not at this time. I'm sorry, so I'm breaking up there. Are you proposing any lighting to this sign at this at this time? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. put that in this application. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so it's something I guess they can do after the summer. When they come back for the back signs? Yeah. Yeah, we... To be determined... Yeah, on here you had that the lighting was to be determined at a later time after a qualified electrician inspects. Uh, yeah, I so, that. well, you would, we wanted to talk about possible rear signs too, right? <coughs> yeah, we're going to do that in a little future Yep. Um, yep, yeah, um, and yeah, and that the for the rear signs, remember you can also get those approved you know, two years before you actually want to install them. Right, right, okay. So let's plan on doing that then the next round. Okay. What would you think? Yes, and I'm just tossing something out about between a, a, a very small gooseneck between the sills of each set of windows going out would shine down Ooh. in a flood would shine down on each each of the signs below the garage cultural center and stone cliff 
because they're fairly well centered. I know, I might work to center them a little bit more. And it would be nice and it wouldn't interfere with a garage sign above that's the historic sign. If right. you just put a little put a little gooseneck between right but tuck it right between the sills. Yeah. Gooseneck a, a little higher than gooseneck over uh, would not would neither hide this the historic sign. I'd have to come out pretty far. To well, it, it could come out a little ways. It could come out you know 18 inches, but a, a very small thin gooseneck yeah. with yeah. a a little LED flood would light up both of those pretty just, nicely. I would just think. being an industrial building. Yeah. But again, that would be fairly discreet, and it would—it's really centered right over each of your uh, cultural center and stone cliff signs. Just a thought to add to your to-do list. To-do list. I know. And and again, we can wait until you check with the electrician about that possibility, and then come back when you. When you come back for the signs for the rear? Yeah, but I, I like that idea because I did have I have had some conversations with the electrician and um, you know, I had some disconnects in and out that kind of project out instead of that because I didn't want to interfere with that garage sign up there. Um, but I'll get all that information together and we'll know how to get into the package. Okay. So just going through what we've reviewed so far, the black background of the sign should be a flat black color, or of the signs should be a flat black color to avoid glare, which could make the sign lettering less readable. That's the recommendation. The options are the size of the lettering for the sign may be increased in size for more readability as long as the desired spacing within the sign bands and between the lettering can be maintained. And then two, lettering for the garage cultural center may be placed in the same horizontal, on the same horizontal level as the stone cliff lettering just for aesthetic balance in the sign. And again, that's an option for you. Okay. Three, the black, a black metal or composite material may be used to band <coughs> black sign background to preserve the sign foam material. And then number four, a handicap sign may be either added immediately below the directory sign or be incorporated into the directory sign. And again, those four are options. Okay. Good option. Is, is the color an, an option or is that a recommendation? I feel strongly. That's a recommendation. The flat black is yeah, a recommendation. Yeah, because I feel strongly about that. I don't think that the gloss is consistent. <laughs> well, you, you wouldn't want to spend that much money and have the afternoon sun obliterate your sign. So the flat black color is a recommendation. It'll work and better with the lights too. Much better, and then the and if you have lighting on the sign, the last thing you want is a glossy black because the this, the lighting for the sign will reflect that <laughs> as well as the sun. Any other questions, comments? Nope. We go through the criteria. Number there's a criteria we need to go through, and I'll just read through them. Design review standards preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district or involves an historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district acceptable. <coughs> Compatibility of proposed landscaping non proposed. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, none added yet, but will be 
proposed in the future. Recognition of and respect for view corridors and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Um, we'll call that acceptable because it is along and fate and visible from State Street. Conformance with cityscape placement and design recommendations, acceptable. Compatibility with subject property and adjacent properties, acceptable. Shall not obscure significant architectural details, acceptable. <laughs> but you're leaving that old garage sign as faded as it is and tax, but that's a very historic part of the building. Consistency and uniformity of multiple signs in CB2 and OP, not applicable. Illumination, not applicable at this point. Pennants and banners, not applicable. Individual letters affixed, painted, or engraved directly on the building or structure are encouraged. And this is acceptable because of the existing sign ban that this will be replacing. And all of the all in favor of the proposal with the recommendation and optional changes? Raise your hand. I'm not sure where to, oh, here we go, down here. Okay, and Again, you can stop into the office and sign the form that we filled out. Thank you so much. I have one question for you, though. Okay. Uh, on, on the paint, uh, fixing up the chipping paint and doing it in a matte black, is that the same thing that you uh, You're talking about the window frames? Yes. Doing that in a black is basically, what color is it now? Okay, and you, but you wanted to do it with the your cheating heart, correct? Yeah, correct. Right. We don't need to do a separate application. I would call no. that a maintenance. Yeah. It's really, it's really not part of the sign, but we'll we'll call that a an administrative. Yeah, I'm approval of a uh, of a maintenance. Okay. I think having this so you could see the combination of the yes. black against this was mm -hmm. helpful. But yeah, that was, that's fine. Wonderful. Okay. And well, again, we, we so can. Much. And again, I'm so sorry for that I'm not there. No, that's okay. And when you come back for whatever signs you're adding on the back, you can add in the, the whatever lighting gooseneck the, that you're proposing for the front after consulting your electrician. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank, thank you, Jody. You so much. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't get to meet you all, but soon. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jody. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> she's worked hard to pull this together and a little yes. fast, yeah. and I'm, I appreciate Not what she's doing. So felt a little strange to have her on the phone, but I know that's she's, okay. It worked. It worked. So. Good. Have you had a chance to look at the minutes? I haven't yet. I will see. Be. Okay, we'll let men take a look. There there were only three of us there. Right. You, Eric, and myself, so. Second? I second. All in favor of the minutes, raise your hand. And unless anybody has anything else, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. I'll second that too. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. <laughs> Meeting is adjourned.